Hi guys, for those of you excited about CAD, I just wanted to throw together a short video. I know we haven't really been able to meet this week, so here's a short video to get you guys thinking again about making 3D objects. Now one of the things to keep in mind is an easy way to start a 3D object is in two dimensions, and you have to think of it as adding pieces and subtracting pieces and, and even taking very thin slice of whatever you're trying to make so I thought a frisbee would be a great way to kind of show this so imagine we're looking at a frisbee I'm gonna make this side we'll just make this side three inches I'll draw another line this way three inches all right and then I'll come whoops So if we were to look at a frisbee, this is roughly what we'd see, right? Hopefully we can all agree. Watch what happens when I extrude this, and you guys can probably guess, right? So let's say it's a... Whoa, it's no longer a frisbee. So you, you can see we, we have our initial drawing is certainly about what you would see looking down the side of a frisbee but but totally does not extrude into what we're looking for so I'm gonna come back to this original shape here Trim that. All right. and I, I would actually argue we need to do one little thing let's sort of round up here, this up here, and give it some little rounded edge. All right, then use this trim tool. Okay, so there's probably a little bit more of what we would expect. To take one infinitesimally small slice from a Frisbee, right? And I'm going to go ahead and green check this. It looks good. What I want to do next is use this tool up here, Revolve. Notice I'm not in a sketch. I'm going to Revolve. It asks faces and sketches. I want to Revolve this piece, and then it asks for the axis around this axis. And boom. So, again, notice we've thought about what does a Frisbee look like, looking at it from the side, and how can we draw one slice of that object in two dimensions and then use something like the revolve tool to to create it and of course we need a place to put our fingers so we can green check this and use a tool that you've seen already right and now you know you, you have the basic concept of a frisbee from an initial let's go back to our initial sketch so using this as our initial sketch and then some of other simple tools, including the revolve and the shell, we've created a basic frisbee. So quick lesson, have fun with it, try it on your own, and let's see what you can make.